So it seems like we're going to Starterville. Yeah. So uh, I definitely agree with Captain Falcon pick. Captain Falcon okay. is a little bit faster than Mario. He but has, can he be faster than Sonic? Uh, I don't think he can be <laughs> faster than Sonic, but he can oh. definitely. He has better options to to chase Sonic down. Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh okay. wow. <laughs> yeah. No, that was one thing he kept getting you with was uh, you kept missing the stage text on the down air, or you kept DIing toward the stage, which is the right option. Well, I mean, you're. I'm Luigi. I, right. I, I don't have a lot of recovery options. If I don't have my jump, I'm gonna die. Everyone has 20 frames. Well, I I don't think I like to tech. I don't remember getting stage spike though. I feel like no, most no, no. Time you didn't get stage spike, but you um, missed the tech on stage twice oh, in that game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Right. But yeah. Because uh, it seems like Gentabeast is going for a lot of spikes off ledge, but everyone seems to be DIing towards the stage, which is the correct option. But um, you were missing a lot of the tech, so he was getting some follow ups based off the knockdown yeah. animation. Now, looking at this match, uh, Jintabee is super far behind. Right. Yeah. Sonic's damage potential is phenomenal. People say he has trouble killing. Right. But he can put damage on so fast that it's not really a thing. And he has some pretty good gimmick tools in the form of the spring. Like, if he can get Cap Falcon off stage and hit him with the spring, he will die. Right. Yeah. I mean, he just doesn't have the recovery. Yeah. And even with Magnet Hands, he can only do so much. And see, that's, that's Starterville right there. That platform yeah. recovery. That platform saving that life. Exactly. All right, so getting it with the back air, though. So we're moving into game two with CC not so many percents above his little heads. So it definitely not impossible for Jensen to come back, but CC's had a commanding lead here. Yeah, he's, he'll definitely be hard-pressed to win. But, I mean, this is Cap Falcon. A little bit of style goes a long way. We've seen, again, I'm going to bring in Fatality because we're in Georgia, and right. we just love Fatality. But we've seen Fatality come back from, from huge deficits. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Because that's because Cap Captain Falcon has the damage percent. Yeah. He has the fall he has the combos. Yeah, and uh, a couple of good hard reads on those spikes. We saw Jinta get one earlier. Unfortunately, CC was at a pretty low percent, so it didn't kill. But we know Jinta has the like the potential Ooh. to get those quick kills. I really like that spacing on CC for the uh, Raptor boost. That was really well done. Definitely shows the knowledge of the of of all the character matchups here. Oh, oh, missing. Yeah. That is super unfortunate. I hate to see that. That's actually something CC, I'm not going to say does a lot, but something that happens quite often to him. Right. He'll recover high and then just misjudge where he is. Uh, I believe Sonic's up B won't let you die off the top, so even if he's right. super high in the, the it's blast hard, zone, yeah. Yeah, he, he actually cannot hit the blast zone off of the spring, where other characters, like, say, Wario, can actually die off the blast zone with the wall. Sonic can't do that. Now, so, I would like to ask him that question. CC keeps going for forward throw here. Why is he not going for back throw? Well, uh, he doesn't want to steal out his back throw. And uh, the only time the back throw really kills is when you're on the very ledge of the stage with your back to it. Gotcha. Yeah. And yeah. that seals the game. All right. Uh, this is winner's final, so it will be best three out of five. Right. So that also includes no bans. Uh, uh, Eva ruled that there is one ban. Because oh. yeah. we, we have a couple more stages than Melee oh, does. Oh, the yeah. Evo problem. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, with the, even with the problems Evo had, mm -hmm. the rule set wasn't terrible. I mean, it was a pretty standard rule set, so we, we can't complain. Um, a lot of a lot of tournaments have actually uh, added the addition of Duck Hunt, which is really the only difference between right. the Evo rule set and the tipped off rule set. And we are going to Delfino. Ooh, um, I love this music. <laughs> okay. This music, though, I'm, can we can we can we take a moment <laughs> to remember the the, the the phenomenal Delfino music? Yeah. Uh, Delfino, not tournament legal anymore. But it's S-tier music. That's, yeah. that's the important it is thing. It is S-tier music. Because Super Mario Sunshine had a fantastic uh, soundtrack. All right. But for real, though. Going to Battlefield. Going Again, to Battlefield. I respect it. And we're swapping to Mario here. All right. Mario, Jinta Beast main. Uh, we see a lot more in the Mario than we do the Captain Falcon. Right. We really do. I mean, how long has he had that Captain Falcon? Oh, he's had it for pretty much since I've known him, actually. Okay. Um, it's always been kind of back burner, yeah. secondary. He brings it out on certain matchups. Uh, again, the Luigi matchup because he really doesn't like the Mario versus Luigi because he gets out frame data. But he's uh, Jin is a solid player. We go back and forth a lot. Um, most recently, it's definitely been his hair a lot more because I feel like he practices a lot more than I do. Right. Oh, gets that two frame though. Catches him right before he gets that ledge. And Typo taking Typo sees he taking a quick lead here at 16% and the head up. So it seems like uh, CC picked up his phone, dialed 1-800, uh, get the Mario, or do the Mario. 
So CC is just commanding this battlefield, not letting uh, Genta Beast come back in to the game. Now, is Genta a player that, at this point, will he give it his all and try to come back, or will he try to bring it back game three? Uh, most definitely, he'll try and bring it back. He doesn't get frustrated like uh, some people, myself included. Right. But uh, sometimes you can see him get a little bit demoralized. Right. Because I'm one of those players that would definitely uh, take this as a learning experience and move it towards game three. Because that's that's the magic of three out of five. Yeah. You definitely have a lot more time to adapt. Which is really nice. Right. All right. So we got uh, CC off stage. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The, the classic Mario falling back air. So um, we get on to each other about this all the time. Sure. Sonic's up is invincible. Essentially the entire time. High frames. Yeah, you should never go off stage to try and hit him when he's trying to recover. But it looks so tempting. It, it does look so <laughs> tempting. Everyone does it. And right. it's there's no reason to. All you ever get is punished for it. Now Jinta didn't get punished there. Ooh. But he DI? did get punish, punished. No, there's just this, no look. Okay. Yeah. 130% uh, right. so much rage from Sonic. So we saw the Mario swap and we saw the Battlefield counter pick. I have a feeling that Jinta's going to stay Mario. But where do you think he's going to go? I honestly think he's going to go for the run back. Like, that's really your, your best option against Sonic is, right. that, is, is the battlefield. That so being said... He is thinking really hard here. Yeah. He may be going the opposite route and just try and jank Sonic. Oh, wow. We see something I didn't expect is CC swapping to Sheik. Uh, we have seen CC working on his Sheik a lot. Oh, yeah, no, it's yeah. not It's yeah. not that he doesn't have a Sheik, but I'm surprised that he swapped off of a character that's worked for the past two games. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he does want a chance to try Sheik out in tournament. And uh, especially at a high-stakes match, which is winner's finals yeah. here. And we're going to Delfino again. One, we're actually gentlemen till Delfino. Okay, it looks like they went for the uh, Omega. They did. So, yeah. Okay, I, I missed that part. I was a little bit confused. Yeah. Uh, I'm but that S-tier music, though. Yeah. Just, mm, just let's take a second to just, yes. Now, there is one thing I don't like about the Omegas most of the time. You'll see the, again, the, the edges are different than they are on, like, traditional FD. Right. You can get caught underneath these a lot. Yeah, it's lot like Smashville. Easier. Yeah. Well, Smashville, you can still ride up. Like, this one a little is, bit. is a little bit more blocky. I don't think it'll be a problem for Mario, because Mario always recovers on the angle. Right. But you may see Sheik end up getting caught under it. I doubt it'll really happen, because, I mean, most Sheiks play pretty safe. That's how you play Sheik. Right. But it may be a thing that happens. All right, so we're seeing a lot of the neutral here from CC. Genta finally getting some uh, control over the Sheik here because uh, Sheik doesn't really have a good way to come back down to the stage, especially without platforms. Oh, uh, I, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to agree because I don't have anything else to say. Right. Now well, that solid spacing on that up smash. Oh, uh, pretty... Pretty interesting to see Sheik kill that early, uh, especially in the past couple patches. She keeps getting nerfed, so it's getting harder and harder for, to, for her to kill. Oh, Sheik's doing well? Better nerf Greninja. <laughs> Poor Greninja. He just wanted to be Water Sheik, man. What's wrong with that? I mean, we already have one broken ninja. We don't need two. But I don't see water. I only see water on Sheik because of Flood right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, but again, there can only be one good ninja. You know what I miss? What's that? Maybe not vanilla Luigi, because that was a little bit stupid, but Luigi who had two less lag frames on his fireball. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all I want back. Just two frames. Two gi frames. Give me... Mashed potato, please. Give me a good approach option. Right. Anyway, speaking of approach options in this match, it seems like we're uh, keeping close to each other, and they're just throwing out the grabs and the hitboxes trying to get something started. Especially uh, CC, who's at such a high percentage, it feels like he needs to get something quick. CC has that rage Sheik, so yeah, a that's lot of the problem. problems that she has are pretty much mitigated right now. Right. So Jinta really needs to get that kill early. There it is. Early. That was that was solid. Yeah. I like that option a lot. That's normally something you don't see kill. A Just lot. the last hit, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure it had something to do with the uh, numbers that were very red next to the Sheik icon. Might have had something to do with it. Most definitely. So this is going to be Jinta's chance to come back. Definitely. Again, Sheik can't He's kill. got the rage. He's off stage, though. Mario has recovery options. There's no problem with that. Wow, CC went for the grab, but didn't quite time it right. Oh, CC getting a little bit hungry. You've seen him just throw out smash attacks trying to read rolls ro right. and stuff like that. And he's he's not Sonic, so he can't get away with that for free anymore. All right, getting the up smash. He does get that, though. And that's game. Yeah. 
Yeah, solid set though. I really enjoyed the back and forth for CC and Genta there. So next up, we're gonna have loses time. He's Typo Zaiden versus LSA Bakuda. All right. So the two crews in Middle Georgia are really duking it out today. Definitely. All right. Taking a showing. 